Let's move on to the Northeast State where uh, maybe we got a little bit more clarification yeah. of, of the way that teams stack up after last week. Uh, New Haven uh, got all they want. I thought it would be a little closer than it has been in years past, but, man, they got, they got all they want. They wanted in Norwell in a 14-7 win down in Ossian. And then uh, Leo Falls to uh, a good East Noble team. When you take a look at uh, East Noble now, they're, they're kind of in the catbird seat. Yeah. Uh, what do they do? They've got Norwell this week, as we mentioned, an improved team that gave New Haven a scare last week. Yeah, you look at Bailey Parker's development uh, for, for East Noble, and we felt, okay, he's not Andrew McCormick, but you're seeing some signs of McCormick in terms of his running ability. I think the, the running is ahead of the passing right now for, for Parker, but has been very good with his legs the last couple weeks. And, and with Caden Harshberger there, too, it really gives them an effective running game. So passing-wise, East Noble isn't what they have been the last couple years, mm -hmm. but the running game is making up for it, and then the defense, too. As Coach Ampson's like to say, the Roughnecks doing their job. Yeah. Harshberger and Parker over 350 yards in last week's game. New Haven's at Columbia City, which – is another tricky game if you're in New Haven because yeah. Columbia City, I know that their schedule is backloaded, but they've played some good football at times this year. They're certainly not a team to be overlooked, especially coming off a 14-7 win over Norwell on the road. New Haven goes on the road again this week to Columbia City. This is a tricky one because I think Columbia City got caught looking ahead to this game mm -hmm. last week by the Cows. the Cows. So yeah. uh, New Haven has not exactly been blowing out opponents in the NE8. I don't think they're as – dominant as they were the last couple of years in the 88. So all of a sudden, I think Columbia City has the horses to compete with them if they can move past last week's disappointment to the Cow. So this is an interesting one that I think that, that Brett Fox and, and the Eagles are going to be ready for. And Leo is at Belmont Huntington North at the Cow, but still, you know, East Noble is in the driver's seat. New Haven also is 3-0, and but this still feels like we've got a lot left to resolve. It isn't like in years past where you say, all right, it comes down to just this one game. There's a lot that can happen in the Northeast State, in my opinion. The yeah, the season. you have East Noble, New Haven matching up in week eight, mm -hmm. but a lot can happen between now and then. All right, should be interesting.